Therukuthu, or street theater, is, as its name indicates, a popular form of theater performed in the streets of India. It's getting more rare, and it's mainly practiced in the poor areas of Chennai, which are formerly the Madras. This operatic form is slightly influenced by the Kathakali of Kerala. Therukuthu is, however, performed by an amateur actors who actually have to make a small financial contribution to the troupe in order to be able to participate in the performance. The stories are derived from things like the Puranas, the Mahabharata, and the Ramayanas, which are Hindu epic tales. Songs predominate um, the dialogue because much of the dialogue is actually improvised. The troupe consists of 15 to 20 actors. They are accompanied by a vocalist and the instruments of a small orchestra that includes drums, pipes, and cymbals. Most of the melodies are Carnatic Ragas, which is classical music of South India. An obligatory chanting section precedes the actual songs. The performance is led, like in a lot of other Indian theater genres, by a theater director or also called a master of ceremonies. In this style, they call him the Katya Karam. He's present the whole performance on a square acting area. And the performance is preceded by obligatory ritual preliminaries, including the veneration of God Ganesha in the form of an elephant mask dancer. And then after that, follow invocations to other gods. So it usually starts with a scene at the king's court and the main characters are introduced from behind a handheld curtain. Um, besides the leader of the troupe, another important character in the play is Kamali, and he plays the buffoon, so he mostly tries to entertain the whole crowd by making them laugh. Um, separate from the story, plot, and the general acting style echoes the classical Abhinaya mime, although just like the Katha Takali, um, it includes hyper-realistic details. Um, like eating the entrails of the villain is one of the popular ones they do in plays. And the costuming of their kufu is um, picturesque and unique. The upper body is covered with a jacket and a knee-length skirt covers the lower body. There were huge crowns, check decorations, and lots of other ornaments. This stuff is made of gilded wood and decorated with shining colorful mirrors. They also wear massive wing-like shoulder decorations that give them a non-human square type shape. A lot of the characters wear masks, some of them wear, make wear makeup, and this is usually like bright colors, um, like neon colors that you would think of. Um, one of the character, Krishna, her face is green, um, and then other characters might have bright blue makeup. The villain's faces are covered with black and white three-dimensional dots. And their Kuthu is the most popular form of folk drama of the Tamil Nadu. Um, the name literally translates to street play. It mostly is performed at the time of annual temple festivals of Mary Man, which is the Indian rain goddess. Um, they do this to achieve a rich harvest. And at the core of the extensive repertoire of the character Therukuthu, there's a cycle of eight plays based on the life of the Draupadi, who is a character in the one of the stories mentioned in the previous circle. And that's it.